What's up YouTube? This is part 23 of my Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so I've had um, I've had other uploads that I've been putting up from my live stream, so I haven't really... I was a few days off um, actually putting all this up, so I'm going to actually put a few episodes up in a row, so for anyone who's interested in my uh, walkthrough. Okay, so um, last time we beat the 6th gym and got our badge, and we need to actually get going to Lily Cove City because that's our next destination. Uh, just gonna hop on my bike here. Oh fuck, there's some bushes. Okay, yeah, so these bushes you gotta hop off your bike. Let me just get off in this corner so I don't actually bump into any wild encounters. I could probably have done that a lot easier, but anyway. Okay, so, yep. So down this bit, past where you actually uh, met Steven and got the Devon scope, so it'll, it'll be like this, normally it'll be this raining area. You'll actually see the little specks of rain. So when you're battling anyone or encounter any battles in this area, there will be uh, rain about. So that will power up a lot of your water moves that you um, you like to use or Pokemon you come across. It'll be much, um, they'll be uh, a little bit stronger. Anyway, so uh, there's a, quite a few trainers in this area, and th this bit was ver this bit's a quite a lengthy, like a lengthy part. Like so, I actually split this up into two episodes because it took so like it basically took me so long to get there because. I kind of wanted to, I versed most of the trainers, I think, if not all, most, if not all. So it took quite a, a lengthy amount of time to get here. Uh, so if you weren't tuning into my last episode and you're new or anything like that, yep, um, I'm going to give you a shout out what's in this area. So Absol, Barbroach, Golden, Kecleon, uh, the little invisible guy with the Devon, you can get him with a Devon scope or you can actually bump into him wild as well. Um, Linoon, good for pickup, uh, Magikarp, Meryl, Oddish, Surskit, and Zigzagoon. Uh, Surskit's pretty cool. He's a cool little Pokemon. Don't see many people using him at all. Uh, and my team, I've got Blaziken, Swellow, Trapinch, and Tropius. So I'm kind of working on getting Trapinch up there, but it's, it's gonna, obviously it's going to take a while. Anyway, so what's going on in the moment? I'm just versing a Swellow, and I just beat it with my... Uh, my my trap inch, so he's going to get some nice experience from beating that swell. I said 502 experience a piece there. So I beat that bird trainer there, and I always remember this bit because I know there's this lady with this mill tick. Because the, the very first time I played this, like I was like, whoa, that's an awesome Pokemon. I can't remember what age I was, but I was like, I was really dazzled by it and I wanted to get it. And then later on, I found out that you have to catch Phoebus. And, well, that's that's another story. <laughs> anyway, so there's uh, don't, this is uh, Parasol Lady. I'm pretty sure I'm um, the other ladies like this. I remember I remember exactly where she was. Anyway, so um, she's got one Pokemon being a Cast Form. So Cast Form is pretty cool because it changes in weather. As you can see, it's raining. Just wait for him to change his little form into his little rain form. So yeah, he's changed into kind of like a little floating thing on a cloud, little water drip thingy. So Magical Leaf, I'm is probably my best option there. And that hits it for super effective damage, which is awesome. Uh, Caswarm does use Sunny Day, so he gets rid of the uh, rain and he transforms into his, like a sun form. So it kind of looks like he's got hair. Well, I don't know. He's having a perm or something. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he's pretty cool because he does change his form. So you can, you can muck around with him and um, yeah, if you want to use him. He's pretty cool. I've, I've used him once before through a walk through his He's pretty fun, actually. Anyway, so he's going to go down to my Tropius regardless because I did hit him with that super effective attack uh, early on. And, yep, uh, Parasol Lady is beaten. So next uh, player. So I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's a lady down there. Yeah, okay, so there's this ninja guy. They like to they like to hide themselves as, like, trees. It's pretty damn obvious where they are. Or they have, like, a rug or something or whatever it is. But they're always a uh, good experience anyway. So this guy's got three. Uh, he's got an Incator. So we've seen this a lot. So basically a job for my Blaziken because, yep, they have very, very high uh, defense. Okay. Um, oh. Let's finish off my burger. This is del this was a delicious burger. Seriously. It was, it's like, homemade and it's, like, like, big and yeah it was it was an awesome burger um i'm just, i actually want another one but yeah i kind of made one at home it was really nice anyway i'll, not, <laughs> I'll start talking about the game not my burger so uh coughing uses tackle which does uh, nothing only five five hp so that's nothing uh i'm just gonna go for 
Oh, fuck, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my god, I missed. Well, so Blaze Kick misses and he's continuously beating away at me with tackle, doing no damage whatsoever, really. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a Blaze Kick again. Finally, this one lands on and hits, and that's a one hit KO for sure, because that's stab, of course. So 171 experience points there, so he's probably gonna have three of these just to annoy me. That was his second one, so <clears throat> I'm guessing that's probably. He's going to have three of them. So the rain's going to be about in every single battle. So you, in, just in this little area. So you just have to deal with that, I guess. Um, it'd be good if you're if you're good for your... Um, if you have a water Pokemon. Power up always moves. Also, um, also, yeah. Actually, I'm not sure about that. So I won't say that. Anyway, so uh, Ninjask um, comes out. So that's alright. Um, he goes for the double team. I'm like, oh my god, not again. They love, they love having double team, these things. Because... Um, Yep, you can never hit them, but some somehow, Miracle, I hit it on the first go and take it out for a super effective damage because uh, Nin, Ninjask is, is extremely frail and goes down to basically any super effective attack. Even a neutral damage attack, it does heavy damage. Okay, so anyway, um, going to one of my favorite trainers in the game. Pokemon may have any special abilities. Yep, and you have to be first class, obviously. So, I remember, and I was like, this is Militic. I was like, definitely want to get one of these. So, yep. Uh, Militic's really, really good at this point in the game. Like, I remember when I first played it, it was like really, really strong. Especially because it's raining and it's it's got Water Pulse as well and you can get confused. As you can see, it goes for the Water Pulse and it still does, it does nothing really to me. But it can, conf Water Pulse does have a chance of confusing, so. And even I hit it for super effective damage, it, does, it can take a lot of hits as well. Because it is Militic, so yeah. Um, Basically, after I saw this thing with Phoebus, I actually, the little area where you cap capture Phoebus, I actually drew a map. I got a piece of paper and I, like one of those little grid piece of papers with a, you know, uh, you know, one centimeter by one centimeter cubes on it. I don't know what you call it. It's a spe this is a special kind of paper. Anyway, I got some of that from, I remember I got some of that from school. Uh, <laughs> this was ages ago, not recently, to spare that in mind. Um, I got that from school, right, and I drew the entire map on that. I stuck a few together, and I drew the entire map, and I put, like, a cross in each square. I fished in each square three times. I put a cross in it after I did it, because there's a 50% chance of catching it. So I was thinking, well, if it's a 50% chance, I'll just do three in each to make it, you know. So I was crossing each square. After a few hours, I eventually found it. So I always remember that. I still have that I still have that Phoebus map to this day. Um, um, that's something I'm very, very, very proud of. <laughs> Um, and, and it put lots of fun in the game and like but once you find them they're very very common like they're, they're in that square there's, there's heaps of them I caught like I caught heaps and I was like fuck <laughs> spamming like pokeballs to catch them so yeah and I was trying to get a specific uh, nature for the poke blocks as well because you got to actually max its beauty out to get Militic of course okay so uh, and that was lots of fun as well are you, and you could also use it in like the beauty contests and stuff like that. Though that were pretty cool. Um, I, I think I got up. I think I won. I think I won the very last beauty contest. There was like a few levels you could do. I, I won the very last one with my Militic. All to remember that. Anyway, so we're heading down this little grassy bit. Uh, that's all the trainers in this area. So it's kind of like little patches of road, like little road you can walk on, so you don't bump into all the wild Pokemon. But there's a f this train here, I might as well batter her just for a bit of experience, and there's a few more down there, and you'll actually start getting very close to uh, Lily Cove City, so uh, she's a ranger, she's got a low tad, so uh, that's cool. My Tropius probably isn't going to be able to do much to her. I've, I think I've got, I've got Stomp, but, uh, you know, I don't think that's going to do very much to it, but we'll just see anyway. So, that's not too bad, um, you know, that's that's a two-hit KO with Stomp, so that's alright. Low tad uses Mist, that's really not going to help him out very much in this situation. Yep. So, rain is still going. The rain does slow has does slow this video down a lot because you've got to wait for the rain in between every single turn. And also, I did cut out all the wild encounters and stuff, so just to cut it down a lot for you. And I sped the text up and everything as well. Ah, oh, I so want one of those burgers again. <laughs> anyway, so Blaziken's pretty close to getting to level 39, or, which is quite which is quite um, most certainly high for this. Uh, bit in the game, so any attack's basically going to take this out. He goes for the Fake Out. Uh, fake Out is a pretty cool move. It gives you um, what you call priority. 
Um, there's a lot of different priority moves and order they go in, but I won't go into that because it's not really that important in um, walkthroughs. But Fake Out does allow you to go first, and it also flinches the opponent at the same time. So, you know, you can be, you can have zero speed and still use Fake Out and go first, which is pretty cool. Anywho, so uh, Lombro goes down, and I, um, yep, some Troppies has got my experience share at the moment, so he's benefiting, benefiting from that nicely, and I do get level 39, so in comes my Swallow. Uh, for his for her last Pokemon, it's a her. Yeah, it's a her. Yep, Ranger is a her. Yep, Ranger Jenna, it's a her. <laughs> just checking. So Nuzleaf will probably have Fake Out as well. I'm just guessing. It will. Yep, it's got Fake Out. Um. Um. Also, I was thinking someone else. I forgot. If anyone knows this, this, does Secret Power change the move Secret Power? Does it change in weather conditions or not? I'm pretty. Na sorry, sorry. Nature Power, not not Nature Power. Um. It's, I'm thinking of another move. I don't know, but if, if you get what I mean, yeah. I I, forg I just completely forget, and I remember it. I'm, I just remember it from ages ago. Like, I haven't played through the game for ages, so any, like, expert guru, yeah, just drop a comment or something like that. But, yeah. I remember using Hydro Pump when I was like, whoa, awesome. But anyway, just a uh, quick uh, fast forward there through some wild encounters that I actually bumped into. I bumped my keyboard. I was like, fuck. Anyway, so uh, another trainer here. Um, apparently this guy's going to check my Pokemon, see if they're fit for outdoors. I'm pretty sure they are. Okay, so this is another Ranger, Ranger Carlos. He's got a C dot. He's probably going to have, yep, I know, I've got to already know what Pokemon he's going to have. Well, I always thought, I always thought C dot looked shiny because it's, the sprite is a lot brighter. Like, at first time I saw it, I'm like, shit, that's a shiny, but it wasn't, yeah. Anyway, anyway, so he's got Harden, uh, Harden raises defense plus one, of course you all know that's saying Metapod um, a million times in the very first gen, so I get a Fletcher's Stomp, which is very nice, that's going to stop another Harden, uh, <laughs> stop another Harden, not Hardon, but anyway, <laughs> why does something, something always have to come up, like, honestly, I will try and not say anything, yeah, like that, but it will always, it will always happen. Anywho, so um, I'm going to bring out my Swallow just to uh, go through this pretty fast. So Nuzleaf comes out again. I know what's going to happen here. I'm just going to go for a fly. So fake out again. Doing minimal really damage there. Oh, it gets a crit. Nice. I flinch as well, obviously, because it's 100% flinch, uh, flinch ratio with that. So just go for the fly there. Uh, he's going to probably go for the nature power again. Swift is going to miss. Yep. And I mirror Swift in like... Um, the very first gen look really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure you got it in your lavender town. I'm quite sure. I can't remember, but I'm just. It's why I play these games. These games, I just reminisce so much about the old games, how cool they were. Anyway, so out comes the uh, Lombre, uh, the final Pokemon. And it's going to have Fake Out again because the other one did. So why wouldn't this one? So Fake Out hits me. It's not very effective. It doesn't do much damage to me at all. I'm just going to go for a fly again and finish this off. I can also use fly now because I've got the badge, so that's pretty cool. I can go back and visit some towns, and also if there's anything really, if there's any real cool, cool like teams and stuff that I've missed, you can fly back and get. Uh, leave a comment or such, just to jog my memory because I can't like remember every single little thing. So if there's any th cool things you can go back and get that'll help me later on in the game, any like you name it, anything, just. Just say so, drop a comment or something like that. Anyway, so uh, there's a nugget here. I'm going to grab that because you can sell them for f um, 5k poker dollars, which is nice. Um, so just follow this little road bit down here and jump that ledge there. And there's a few little indents there. You can make some secret bases there if you really wanted to. So, and there's another little bridge here. So the rain has finally stopped and we are, uh, we're getting close, very, very close to the Lily Cove City now. Okay, so there's a step there. You can surf along that water, I guess, but I'm just going to go and go and few, battle a few of these, more of these trainers here. Okay, so basically this guy is, um, I think he's one of those, yeah, he's one of those maniac guys. He's got a uh, Skit. So as I was saying before, Skit is a pretty cool little Pokemon. You don't see too many, I guess. So Razor Leaf is going to hit that very, very hard and kill it, nearly. So Mass, Razor Leaf, Magical Leaf. Sorry about my narration, I always get things mixed up. Even though I definitely mean them, I just mix them up. Um, anyway, yup, yeah, whatever. So out comes the uh, Surskit again. 
I'm just gonna go for Magical Leaf again because, yep, that's my highest damaging move and best move in this situation. Uh, nearly takes it out. Um, so this kid's got Bubble Beam, which is pretty cool. Bubble Beam pre looks pretty cool. The sprite for Bubble Beam looks, or the animation for Bubble Beam looks pretty cool, I, I reckon. Uh, it's got Quick Attack. It, I think that did one or two damage, so yeah, it's not a very, it's not very, very strong until um, it gets to Masquerin, which is, yeah, that's kind of its own unique Pokemon as well. Um, it's actually flying. Um, it's got Intimidate too, by um, my memory. Anyway, so uh, out comes the third uh, skit. Quick Attack hits me again. Oh, it's a crit. Damn. Damn, that did 7 HP. So I go for the Magical Leaf again. And that nearly takes it out. I think it, that did minimum damage, actually. Um, Magical Leaf again to take the Sir Skit out. So this guy had three Sir Skits. So that's cool. So 378 experience for my Tropius. And yeah, my team's actually looking pretty decent at the moment. Okay, so let's just check out my team. Do 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 do. Switch them up. Actually, what should I do here? I'm gonna actually take my experience share and give it to my Trap Inch because Trap is actually doing quite well on his own now. Uh, Trap Inch needs a little bit more work. Okay, so um, you can just go through those few patches of grass there. Grab the Hyper Potion. That's always gonna be handy in any situation, whether a trainer battle, gym, anything. Okay, so uh, there's a few puddles here, here and I'm, I'm quite certain that around this area there's one of the reggies you can get all around this area, so yep, I'm very certain of it. That's just my memory um, kicking in there. Anyway, so um, I will actually go back and do the reggies after I finish the main game and you know, a lot of other, other legendaries, like probably all of the main ones, I'll just um, do a, like a special, some special bonus episodes or something like that. Um, uh, just for a bit of extra. Anyway, so um, this ninja dude was hiding here, so I'm just going to do a bit of uh, rock tombing to this uh, coughing. So he goes for the smoke screen, but rock tomb's got pretty bad accuracy already, so I was a little bit worried that this wasn't going to hit, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Hope that wasn't too loud. Anyway, there's my stomach was like... <laughs> anyway, so uh, Rock Tomb hits uh, all those times in a row. I'm thinking, wow, that's very, very lucky. It'd be cool if I could hit it once more. So I could just go finish it off with a Feint Attack. Feint Attack isn't bad if you come across a, like, you know, a Ghost Pokemon. Which is... Uh, there's a few coming up in this uh, next route here. So out comes the Ninjask. Uh, yep, yep. So I'm just going to go for a Rock Tomb here. That should hit it for uh, super effective damage. Fury Cutter's not going to do much because it doesn't have very high base power anyway. You need to use it about 9,000 times for it to be uh, any good, even with a few Sword Dances. So Ninjas does go for the Sword Dance, raising his attack by plus two. I go for the Rock Tune there. That should really nearly kill it. Yep, it does. And down Ninjas goes. So that's going to be level 32 for my Trap Inch. I'm very certain it gets for level 40 is via Brava. Could be wrong. Might be earlier, but... It's, I know it's around there, but I remember doing like the trick room um, with it. Anyway, so we'll head down these little stairs here and out into the next area. That's basically all I'm going to do for this episode because it's such a long bit and there's more trainers in the other area. So I'll probably upload another one straight after this one. So just be watching out for that. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for further episodes and subscribe to the show.